dedicate this video to my math teacher in middle school, Andrei Yurievich Alexei. Welcome to Math Life Balance. I am making interviews with mathematicians on this channel, and in almost every interview, I asked a colleague what brought them into mathematics. And today I'd like to answer this question myself, because my whole family is in humanities. They are doing history, languages, art, whatever. Uh, no one knows any mathematics at all. Um, so I went uh, to mid for middle school uh, to a school where my mom worked, which was uh, a unique school organized um, and created by her friends in academia, where uh, it was made uh, in the classical uh, high school German style. So we studied Latin, ancient Greek, lots of ancient history and whatnot. And uh, so uh, the school was considered to be hard to study in, although it was very much fun. But uh, personally, uh, thanks to genetics, I had it pretty easy with all these uh, subjects and learning languages always felt natural uh, for me. And um, there, it felt that it was nice, but there was no mystery in it. So uh, at the age of 11, I thought that my destiny is determined, that uh, I will certainly become a philologist or a linguist. And I was slightly disappointed with that, but you know, I thought what else could be done? Uh, and then my life has changed because uh, they got a new math teacher. And I remember that day very vividly. It was the first day of my seventh grade. September 1st. Uh, so our new uh, teacher was known to be the harshest, the scariest teacher in the whole school. Everyone was afraid of him. So uh, his lesson was the first one and uh, he went into the room and we all stood up to greet him but uh, he did not say a word to us. He went to the blackboard, he took the chalk and he wrote on the blackboard a formula. It was this formula. And there was silence of fear because, of course, no one knew what those symbols were supposed to be. Uh, and uh, the teacher turned to us and after silence said that this is uh, the definition of a function, uh, the first definition I've ever seen. And uh, he asked if we had questions and um, the first timid questions arose, what is this upside down A? and uh, the exclamation mark and so on and uh, the teacher explained that these are logical pointers uh, for all exists unique that x and y are variables and that f is the name of a function and uh, then he gave examples uh, f of x equals x or f of x equals the um, 2x plus 5 or f of x equals the integral part of x uh, and so on. And uh, step by step all the questions were answered and there was some sort of satisfaction in the classroom while I was extremely disturbed because my question in my opinion was not answered. I could not understand what is f because as the teacher said this is the name of a function but every function in the examples was called f so which kind of a name could it be if every function has the same name? So. I kept asking him, well, how could it be the that they all have the same name? And he would say, well, if you have two functions, you usually call them f and g. And this did not satisfy me. So I went to ask older students uh, after the lesson, and they all told me the same, that f is the name of a function. And then I opened textbooks in math, and they all had f, 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 like every function was called f. And this was just killing me. I've never before been so disturbed by not understanding something. Clearly, there were many things I didn't understand, but it was okay, and this time it was not okay. <laughs> this absolutely had to be clarified. Um, and from that day on, I felt that mathematics uh, is, has uh, that mystery, which was missing for me before. Uh, I struggled with it always a lot. This was the hardest subject for me in school, mathematics and physics, 
especially geometry. Oh my god, I could not do geometry at all. Like, stereometry was killing me. So math was very hard and intimidating for me, but also fascinating and exciting. And as it happened uh, with the name of the function, as it often happened afterwards, that in the end I did not understand the answer to my question, but I got used to the fact that all functions are called f, and also I got used to not understanding, although it's still very disturbing. Um, and uh, from the day on, I think, uh, mathematics became my dream, and uh, soon enough I started dreaming about becoming a mathematician, and I would tell people that I want to do math research. And uh, of course, uh, no one took my dreams seriously except for my family, because uh, according to the opinion of everyone around, I had the wrong gender for doing math research. But also, this was not an American kind of dream where you work hard toward your your dream. No, I had no idea that I'm supposed to work towards my dream. I thought it's enough to love mathematics and be fascinated by it. So uh, I know it sounds ridiculous, but I didn't try to find any extracurricular books in mathematics. We didn't have any at home and I didn't try to find extra math problems. I was very happy with our lessons. So it was a, you know, maybe Russian flavor kind of dream where you just hope for things to work out eventually, if you dream long enough. <laughs> but besides our uh, cool lessons, my teacher also organized uh, a mathematical club called Aritas Venice, um, and I went there. So the club was meeting once in two, three weeks, and there was always a math talk where a student or a teacher was giving a, a some talk about some uh, mathematics which is not studied on in school lessons uh, and afterwards there would be a mate tea with lots of cakes and uh, chatting about maybe some mathematics and uh, life <laughs> and uh, I started attending that club and um, I was very happy about it I couldn't follow the math talks usually but they were so, you know, exciting and mysterious. And by the time I was in the eighth, eighth grade, I already wanted to become a member. Uh, and to become a member, you had to, well, you had to do a few things, but in particular, you had to give a talk. Uh, and that year was the year of um, Leonard Euler. So uh, we dedicated all the talks to his uh, work in math. So uh, that was it. I had to give a talk in order to achieve my dream, uh, at least the first step towards my dream. But I was very scared because, as I said, math was always intimidating for me. So I told my teacher that I'm too afraid to give a math talk. And my teacher was amazing because he had understanding, although he was, he, although he looked so harsh and scary. And he said, well, okay, if you're afraid to speak about math, how about you speak about owls? And I said, what? And he said, well, Leonard Euler, his surname comes from the word Euler, and Euler means owl in German. So you could speak about owls as a symbol of wisdom. And it was such a relief. I gave a wonderful talk. My first math talk was maybe the best one. I was confident. I was not scared at all. The only time I gave a math talk when I was not afraid to say anything stupid I talk about owls for a whole hour. Owls in ancient Greek, in other ancient cultures, the symbol of wisdom, the um, all the superstitions about owls. I got wild talking about owls. And um, out of all the math talks in my life, that one also had uh, the most unexpected ending. So I really prepared it well because while I was uh, searching for material for my uh, first math talk. <laughs> I contacted with the help of my mom, the only direct descendant of uh, Euler, who lives in Basel. And uh, he told us that the surname Euler comes from the old German word Aue, which means a flat plane, because the family of Euler's 
uh, lived in Lindau, um, uh, at the Bodensee, um, before they moved to Basel in 16th century. And so I finished my talk with saying that uh, all the whole talk about owls has absolutely nothing to do with Leonard Euler, except perhaps the symbol of wisdom. So that's the story of my first math talk and first mathematical shock. And since then, I still keep bringing from some, some of my trips owls for my math teacher because he really likes owls. And for me, that's a dear memory.